Hello there, Medicine here, and this is a video response to BJD Addicts, prop number 28. 28. Yeah. 28. Uh, how'd you get that money? Alright, as most of you know, who are doll people, BJDs... The BJD hobby is not a cheap one. Um, this is my doll family, um, my current doll family. I have more dolls on the way, um, and dolls that I'm currently paying for. So, how did I get all the money to get these? Um, as most of you know, BJDs can go for about 300 a pop, and that's relatively average 300. I think Luciana was just maybe a little bit under 300 but here's the secret one Amnice I got she was probably I got her as a full set she was my very first BJD she's a doll's own um, doll and she was probably 500 that included wig, eyes, clothes and it also included Momo yes this little tiny doll right here so, not only did I get Amnes a full set with her face up and everything, but I got a whole nother doll. And I've seen Momo, I've seen these dolls go like on sale from anywhere from $75 to $100, like $95. So I've seen them on sale online, different places, because they were only available through that event. It's not something you can just go and buy from Doll Zone anytime. Amnice is an Orlando doll. You can purchase her right now if you wanted to, as a full set or blank or whatever the case may be. Um, so that's how I got them. And I actually got them the way that anybody gets any kind of money. You work, or you save, or, you know, maybe your birthday happens to be a couple days after Christmas. So not only do you get Christmas money, but you get birthday money. Or, you know, you just kind of be frugal. Maybe you pass that extra Starbucks drink. You know, you're out with the girls, and instead of getting, well, me, personally, I'm out with the girls, and instead of getting that $5 Vente Frappuccino or whatever, I get the $2 Vente Hot Tea. And that way I'm still out and enjoying my time with my friends and still getting a drink that I enjoy, which is tea, and it's half price compared to the specialty coffee drinks that like a Starbucks or someplace would have. Um, so that's kind of a thing. It's, it's really just, it's financial management. Um, Lisiana I got during an event too. That's the other secret for BJD ownership. Lisiana was during Impel Doll's anniversary event. So Onyx came free. These two little guys right here, my two tinies, my little EOSD, and my little, little tiny, were free. I paid $20 because I wanted him in gray skin, and since that's a special resin color that they don't um, do, it costs a little extra, but $20 for a whole EOSD, it's pretty good considering that they're $100 usually, or it could be around then, around that much. So, yeah, I highly, 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 highly recommend doing your research, waiting. If you know that there's a doll that you want and it's not a limited edition doll, wait. Wait until that company has some kind of an event. And usually the events happen at Christmas, Chinese New Year or New Year. Sometimes a few small companies will do like a Valentine's Day event, sometimes. Um, they'll have anniversary events, so if you know the anniversary of a company, um, Impel Doll's anniversary event was October, so um, they just I just happened to see that, and I got them during that, and that's how I got Onyx here. Um, Christmas, sometimes they have seasonal events, like a summer event or spring events, winter, again Christmas. Um, so those are just things to keep in mind, because not only, one, you might get something free, 
or two, you might get a discount. Um, I ordered a doll family a doll. Um, he actually already arrived, but I'm not going to show him to you guys yet. But I ordered a doll family doll during um, doll family's Christmas event. So not only was the doll discounted, I mean, he was cheaper than any of my dolls. Um, just, I think he was under 250 which for a ball jointed doll is really good. But uh, not only was he discounted like so much percent off, but I got a free event head. So now I have a floating head sitting around for free. And the heads alone can go for a pretty penny, if you know. So that's really cool. And I ended up getting the jointed hands because they were discounted. So not only did my whole like thing come out to way less than it usually is, but I got a free head. So as I said, events. That saves you money, it's being smart, it's like couponing or like you know that some store in the mall is going to have a discount at this time of year, or you're going to go after Christmas sales, everything's 50% off. It's just like that, just like you would with any other shopping. Be smart when you shop with your BJDs. Um, Lear, I had to do a layaway plan. Oh my goodness, lay away. Lay it away. Layaways are fantastic. I get, with layaways, I can kind of organize to pay off a doll within like a certain month frame. Um, I usually do the longest layaway that's possible with whatever company I'm buying with. Uh, most, uh, three, these three I got on Mint on Card, these two from Denver Doll Emporium. Mint on Card does a six month layaway. So Lear, I ordered with a six month layaway. Um, it was nice with even um, my doll family doll, I did a layaway. I have another doll that's a, on pre-order and a limited edition doll. And if it wasn't for the layaway system on a mental card, I wouldn't be able to afford him. And by the time he's actually done, this is my favorite part about layaways, by the time the dolls are done and they're ordered and they're sent to the company, i.e. mint on card, I can either pay it all off because now the doll's here, I've had the money saved, or I can keep paying, or sometimes, like in Amnesis' case, and probably in this um, limited edition doll's case that I'm getting, um, the layaway program almost takes as long as the uh, company to make the doll. So by the time it gets to Mint on Card or whatever the company is, I've paid it off. Or I only have one or two payments left. Uh, with Lear, I had two payments left when he got to Mint on Card. Um, Amnes, I had... I think I had enough to pay her all out. I, got, I think I got her on layaway too. Now that I think about it. The only dolls that I haven't done layaway with are Luciana and Onyx because I work, and that's the other thing, I worked a seasonal part-time job and I got a bunch of extra money. We had already paid off a whole bunch of loans and stuff that I had left, so all that money had nowhere to go except for in my pocket, which meant dolls. Um, if it wasn't for that extra job that I did, I wouldn't have been able to get her. Um, as soon as I was. I probably could have ordered her and done a, a layaway or something. Um, Denver Doll Emporium does a like three month layaway I think is the most they do and I would have definitely been able to pay her off in that time frame but because of that job, an extra job, it's something that I've done for years it, it gave me a little extra money to spend on my dolls and I knew it was coming. So any advice that I have for you on how did you how to get money for dolls um, is up to you. Really, just budget, think about it, um, plan it, look at things in the long term. Don't commit to something you can't afford. Um, but save up. It's very rewarding when you saved up for something and you get it back and you get it home and you get to have that fun box opening video and share it with everybody and. Um, it's really rewarding to get the extras for them too, uh, which that's something I have to save up for as well. Um, <laughs> so everybody is kind of like I have a bald one here sitting here now because I have to save up to get his wig or get extra money in so I can make it like I made uh, Momo's wig here. But so that's how I got the money. I'm not a rich person, but I definitely know how to manage my money. 
I know how to pay for the things that need to be paid for and how to siphon a little extra on the side. And like I said, just cut back. Instead of getting the $5 drink, I get the $2 drink. Something as small as that, well, that saved me $3 that can go towards my dolls. And over time, it's saving you lots of money. Um, or you don't get any drink at all. If, that's, if you really are saving for something, then you cut, cut back. Um, I've had to do that before, too. But that's how I get the money, and that's how I've done it, and how I have a large doll family. Um, well, I consider it large, because it's more than what I was expecting with these two free guys. Special events. Um, but, yep, thanks for watching, and I look forward to more BJD Addicts prompts and finding out how, how did you get that money. So be sure to check out the BJD Addicts channel and respond to the video prompt. Thanks again. Bye-bye.